everyone welcome to today's video welcome to the gamer Dad channel thank you so much for tuning in so today we have some sort of a technical video which goes along the lines of gameplay difficulty scaling and loot reward systems now these systems are kind of random in the division two and so they are quite challenging as to how they meet players needs I got an agent comment here on the channel telling me that, you know, they had an injury that makes it challenging to use one of their hands while playing. And so the heroic difficulty has been slightly difficult for them to engage in. And you guys understand when you're doing your open world difficulty, heroic is a lot more problematic in terms of how enemy NPCs are scaled. The number of enemy NPCs, if you're trying to do a control point over here, the territory control people hear wind of it, they start running around, then the patrol shows up. And this is all with enemy NPCs that hit harder and take a little longer to die. So that's also a challenge, especially if someone is playing, you know, from that perspective. Another challenging thing too is, you know, loot drops are also somewhat randomized. So it almost is not necessarily in many cases worth it to sweat that much. And so for that agent that told me that, you know, they, they usually don't use the heroic difficulty, I have some strategies actually for you to continue to enjoy the challenging difficulty and even lower difficulties when you're not in the mood to sweat. Because me, honestly, sometimes I really don't, you know, care what the difficulty of my game mode is. I'm not in a mood to sit here and just farm forever. I just like taking some of the shortcuts. So the other day, let me give you guys this example so you see what I mean. And this agent was basically giving, giving this comment in terms of getting the best loot in the game because heroic usually drops higher scaling loot as well as legendary. But if you can't do the, that, those content pieces or if you don't want to do them like me, many times I don't want to do them unless I'm with, you know, playing with friends or other agents. I usually go on challenging difficulty. So I was looking to get some chess pieces and specifically a Fenris chess piece. So I went to the open world. I set the open world on challenge mode because chess pieces were dropping over there by the tidal basin area, that entire open world. And I came out of the control, the base of uh, the little uh, safe house that's near the control point called the mast. I lit up an enemy NPC and they dropped this chess piece for me. It's a Fenris chess piece, 11.7% weapon damage, 9.2% uh, you know, headshot damage and critical hit damage. Now, this is actually the chess piece that I need because I needed these three stats on this chess piece. I'm trying to get together everything in place to have a headshot build ready to go. And then all I need to do is just chain the talents. Now you wonder when I got this chess piece, I said, yay, I got a Fenris chess piece. That's what I want. I just want to make an AR headshot build and Fenris grants me that. So why am I excited about a piece of gear like this? which objectively we all know is kind of trash in a sense because it doesn't help your cause. Well, here's the thing. To me, this is a starting point. This is what they call, there's an adage that says a bird in hand is worth two in the bush. So basically, it's one of those kinds of things where you cut your losses in a sense, take what you have and make it to become, you know, or suit your build. And then eventually, if you ever find the other piece, then you go with it. Because to be very honest, many times it will be almost impossible to find the piece that you want. And then probably when you stopped using the build or and when you finally maybe maxed out another build, you'll eventually get that item. This is kind of this ongoing, unending cycle that the Division 2 uses to keep its agents in the loops. Now, if you also think about it, those agents that have max rolled everything, they've grinded a lot. I have an agent uh, buddy that's on PC. He hasn't logged on for like three to five months. He's probably going to comment on this video. And if you see his gear, you almost vomit as to how perfect everything is. I'm talking exotics are all max rolled. Mods are all max rolled. It's quite disgusting in a weird way. But the time that they put in and the sweat that they put in is actually, in a sense, almost proportional to the kind of gear that they have. So what I've learned is I look at their stats, but then I also look at their time in. And so, yes, it shows the slight issue that the game can be somewhat grindy, but you can also get lucky. So when they're online, I like to kind of roll with them because if they get anything max rolled, they just, you know, toss it my way. And so that's also another nice way. But if you're in a position where you don't have a lot of, you know, time to maybe schedule, you know, run times with other people, I think this is a good way to start. Now, even myself, 
This is kind of one of the better Fenris chess pieces that I have. I have another one that also dropped from challenging as well, which has weapon damage, weapon handling, critical hit damage. This is not as good because I don't want weapon handling. Honestly, yes, it's a good stat, but I don't want it. So it leaves me in a place where I have to deal with two different uh, changes. And so automatically the chess piece is not necessarily, uh, you know, the best in my case. And then I think I got a third one. That was a slight variation in terms of its difference. If I want to use crit chance, crit damage, and then it gave me spark. Now, here's the beauty of the whole thing. Optimization is available. And so when you're even farming on these lower difficulties that are not necessarily, you know, uh, the heroic difficulty, it's easier to attain loot that you can crush up to use for optimization, you know, currency and resources. This is where you're going to actually be able to make the gear a little bit stronger than it already is. So again, it comes with a little bit of that sacrifice. And I'm not saying, you know, accept less. I'm just saying use a less, uh, you know, optimized item for now as a stepping stone to be able to get yourself, you know, to where it is that you need to be. So in my opinion, I think that challenge mode is actually better. In fact, let me throw another one your way. Another agent in our clan the other day, uh, Agent El Nino, we were doing this challenge. I don't know if you watched my last video. It was basically a rant as to how annoying that challenge was. We were doing this challenge in Roosevelt Island, and he had been farming some mission on, like, heroic. I think it was, like, an invaded mission trying to get a particular gear item to drop. So somewhere, somehow, you know, somebody left our team and had to go do something, and he said, you know, I'll, I'll hop in, and he had done the challenge, and we were like, yo, can you help us? He jumps in and helps us. And while we're redoing this, we have to take off the armor of this boss to then finally, you know, destroy him before we got the commendation. He said something. He said, this is absolutely insane. More gear is dropping on challenge mode missions than it was for me when I was playing this heroic mission by myself solo. So already, even though you may think that the heroic missions could be somewhat more rewarding, and they are in specific aspects, just because it's easier to mow down enemy NPCs in a lower difficulty actually, in a sense, if you kind of like look at it, it's kind of subjective, but the faster you churn through enemy NPCs, the more that percentage of them dropping loot is increased for you. So ideally, in a time per loot ratio, a challenging mode or a slightly lower difficulty gives you a higher number of loot items. And I think this actually opens the door for you to get the loot that you probably need. May not be the loot that you want, but it's probably the loot that you need in order for you to get that stepping stone for your build. Something also, something also kind of weird happened today as well. I was playing, um, I think it was Potomac Event Center. I played it on hard difficulty because I was doing my specialization for Firewall. I'm doing the common day, the you know, field, uh, whatever, and I got these knee pads. So even on a hard difficulty, sometimes the, you know, the RNG would drop something like this. In fact, I picked this up specifically and said on hard, that was just, it was insane because my mind could not fathom that hard mode basically dropped something like this. And it wasn't even from the boss skill. It was just a random enemy NPC. So again, because of the random nature of the game, I wouldn't sweat, you know, pretty much what's going on. And that's crazy. I think, I don't know if at the time I was actually doing that mission, I did it this morning as of my recording today, 17th. And that's when I got that drop. So this video basically is here just to say, as you're gathering your gear, I wouldn't necessarily worry myself about, uh, you know, entirely, you know, for now anyways, about the quality. I'll worry myself about first using and leveraging every single piece of power each gear can give me. And then eventually getting something that probably matches or is maybe better than that item. So I hope this video was helpful. Those of you that are new players or those of you that are new agents or those of you that have very minimal time to grind, this is the way that you will approach the division to kind of get the most out of it. Yes, your gear will probably be missing two, three, four, five percent extra, uh, you know, efficiency or maybe more damage or crit. But honestly, at the end of the day, it doesn't necessarily factor in too much because there are so many other directions to go and so many other factors that you can consider. And your skill level is also going to be building. So you won't even sometimes feel yourself using inferior gear once you've adopted the knowledge of the game to a different extent. All right. Talk to me in the comment section. Veterans, also share some of your own thoughts and some of your tricks that you use. And we'll see you in another video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys a lot. Peace out.